place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post things. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Saref wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. David's waiting, Adam. We shouldn't keep him. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan. Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. E. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading than Trevor's theory. theory. I'll ask All David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. 
Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing good. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh, damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientists' implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We'd better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Pritchard. Where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the micro-cam labs. I think she's running. Damn it. Must have been
in a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hi! Richard? Richard! Before you can do anything, you must be able to get around. The first move you'll want to learn is the crouch. It will allow you to get into small spaces such as air vents, or to hide behind low objects so you can move about unnoticed. Jumping on objects or ladders is essential for getting to those hard to reach places. Sometimes going high or low is not enough. Sometimes you just need to go fast. You'll only be able to sprint for a few seconds at a time though, so use it wisely. Some objects in the environment can be picked up and moved. Use them to create paths to inaccessible areas, or as portable cover during a firefight. You can also throw them at the enemy if need be. When the lead starts to fly, it's wise to take cover. This will protect you from bullets and explosives. To shoot, peek out from behind your cover spot, either to the side or from above. Then take aim and fire. Whenever possible, use cover when moving around. Line of sight is important. And by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't get a bead on you.